Hello everybody, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, something I've been working on and there's a few concepts that I've had to learn to actually be able to do what I've done here, which we'll get onto in a sec. So, the concept I want to talk about is pulse width modulation, which is kind of cool. There's, there's a few other things that relate into this, which I'll talk about as well. But I've got the concept information down right here, and I feel like it'd be easier to read it off my notes than it would be to try and remember everything and get it wrong. So, let's go through this first, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So, what is pulse, uh, pulse width modulation? Well, pulse width modulation, or PWM, uh, it's also known as pulse duration modulation, which is PDM. Um, it's a method of reducing the average power delivered by an, uh, an electrical signal. The average value of voltage and current is controlled by the turning of a switch between the supply load on and off. So what does this mean in simpler terms? Well, an example that pops to my mind would be a flipbook. So if you imagine having a flipbook and you're flipping through it at a nice fast rate, to your eyes it's going to seem like one fluid motion all the way through, which is pretty cool. But the exact, to be exact, I think it's 1 24th per second is the rate that you have to flip it. That's the rate that your eyes see fluid motion, which is awesome. So, what does this have to do with LEDs and motors? Well, I can tell you that it basically works off a, same, off, off a similar concept, realistically. Um, when you're wanting to dim, like dim an LED or slow down a motor, which is pretty cool. So, I've got some graphs here, and hopefully this will make what I'm saying a little bit easier and simpler to understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera, I'm going to get these graph, uh, graphs ready and I'll be back to try and explain a little bit more. So I'll see you guys in a second. So welcome back and before we get any further I just want to let you guys know that I'm still personally learning this concept so if I get anything wrong please do say in the comments and I'll try to, I will try to correct myself. So now that's out of the way, let's actually get into these graphs. So what I've got here is I've got two types of graphs and this explains what's actually happening with this Arduino right here. So the LED that's connected into here is about 3.2 uh, volts and how an LED works is that it absolutely has to hit them 3.2 volts otherwise it just will not turn on. So when it hits that 3.2 volts, what's going to happen? Obviously it's just going to turn on, but it's going to be at a brightness of what it's going to be supposed to, what it's supposed to be. What it's supposed to be? What it's supposed to be, yes. <laughs> so what happens when you drop below 3.2 volts? It's going it's to turn off, of course. So, <laughs> how do you dim the light? I'm going to let you think about that for a second. <laughs> Okay, so basically what's happening is that obviously the Arduino drives 5 volts, so it's 100% enough to power the LED. So what's happening obviously to turn either this motor on or this LED is that it's got to go above that line to when it actually turns on. So obviously it has to be above 3.2 volts for it to turn on, which is correct. So What's actually happening to make this dimmer? Which I can actually show you now. If I unplug these, the LED turns on. And the more I twist this pedometer, the brighter the LED gets, which is pretty awesome as well. So I'm going to get up and show you the graph to actually sort of show you what's sort of happening. So here's the top one, obviously we've got the line right here of 3.2 volts and that's the line what has to hit before the LED turns on and obviously the top line is 5 volts which is what the Arduino is driving. So what's happening is that it's turning on, off, on, off, on, off but at such a fast rate that our eyes, our analog eyes just cannot pick it up. So to us what it really looks like is one solid colour, exactly like what it's doing right this second. I turn it up, the LED gets brighter, I turn it down and it gets dimmer, but it's not dimming the light. I, I can't express that. 
So I've got one more graph here to show you, which hopefully explains what I'm trying to talk about a little bit more. So obviously we've got time constants. Wait, let me get up and show you the graph so you guys can pause it and follow along if you wanted to. So here's the graph right here. So in that, you can obviously see that there's a time constant. Time on and time off. That's what the t's mean. tc equals time constant, t equals time. So what's happening is that in 1 24th of a second, it's going from on, off, on, off. But don't forget, that's only in 1 24th of a second. So, there has to be a specific interval of time between the on period and the off period. So, to our eyes, it looks like that it's dimming or getting brighter. Right, so I'm going to bring the camera a bit closer so I can show you the setup that I've done here. Um, if you want to know the specific components that I've used, I've got an Arduino Uno. Uh, they're relatively cheap online. I've got a breadboard, some jumper leads, a pedometer, an LED, and a 1KM resistor. That's literally all there is driving this, driving this setup. And I will put the sketch in the description as well, if anyone else is interested in doing this. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so welcome back guys. And I'll put the graph here, just in case if anyone else wanted to have a look at it again, um, throughout the video, so you can sort of relate it to what I'm talking about earlier on. So this is the Arduino setup that I've got going on at the moment. I've got a, a potential, potentiometer right here, which is connected. And so, when I twist this, the LED gets brighter. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and when I twist it the other way, it gets dimmer. But also I can have it at set levels of, of whatever I want, which is pretty cool. So, there's a closer look of what's going on. Anyway guys, I just really want to express that I'm no professional in this subject. Uh, this is something that I've just done a little bit of research into myself, or some of the people have told me different concepts about it. So, I'm not expecting to be 100% correct. I know I said this before, but I'll say it again. And if I did get anything wrong, please do put it in the description. I've tried to correct myself, and I, obviously it's a learning experience for both of us. So, I really hope this was of, of something of interest for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and a like. And I'll see you later. Bye.